Never had a brain for trees. Slush puppy kids swap brain for freeze. ES the game changer. I change degrees. Cause a blizzard anywhere I take my feet. Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. Not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay, jeez. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't pay for sex drunk, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. There's no way I'm getting out of this car. Forget it. What if that was you, man? After all the shit that's happened the past couple months, where's your compassion, motherfucker? Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there. Alter, alter, out. alter, was für kranke Geschichten das jetzt schon sind. Fine. I'll go. We need to go. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Rock your scissors, dude. Eddie. Yeah, sorry. Got caught up. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, two, three, go. Shit, man. <laughs> Insane. Okay, again. One, two, three. Mann, immer hab ich verloren. Son of a bitch. Alright. I got this. Be careful, dude. Backpack, if you could tell me if your owner was alive or not. All right, 
Alright, I guess I'll just keep talking to myself out here because that makes sense. Sterben, ich sehe das doch jetzt schon. Sorry, dude. Got a split. Ach du Scheiße. Okay. Der ist also gefressen worden, so. So, dann schauen wir uns mal den Shell an. Die Shell. Ah. Shell Tag 236. Hey Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher step. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. 
I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Beck is a good kid. He's a shit time, but she's gonna go through that. And if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen. Thanks, Stephanie. Applause, 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 applause. Hey. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Okay. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, it's better not to think about it. Okay. Let's make it umsehen. It looks weird in here without the painting. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smells good. This hasn't worked in a long time. Ja, wie kannst du denn Feuer machen, aber keinen Kaffee trinken? Äh, zumindest warm. Weißt du? Oh, it's starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's 
disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Richtiger Dulli, Alter. Ist ein kleiner Hund. about babies anymore but after a while you just kind of accept this is it yeah I guess you kind of forget <laughs> right but then you know there it is you see it and you want to protect it and and now it's gone that sucks maybe if Clive dies next you can put him out there instead he'd make a better watchdog anyway Becca. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Oh, this is on the tankstelle. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Es dreht sich da alles um die Tankstelle hier. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost the reef. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. I still can't believe we let that guy threaten us like that. If that guy Lee had told me I didn't have the balls, I'd have shot him on the spot. Can't trust nobody. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, 
we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? <laughs> Stephanie, boy, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Miss Martha. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch. If we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Wupp, schießt er jetzt um. Tag 259. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible. 